hello there everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video we just got a brand new lego star wars may the first set leak so without further ado go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already definitely turn on your notifications so you don't miss any upcoming news videos and without further ado let's go ahead and get started now, unfortunately, we do not know very much of the set, but we do know that the set is going to be set number 75399, and it's going to release on May the 1st. Now, please ignore the June, because this is actually not correct, and I'm going to show you why. Now, I want you to take a look at this for a second. You can tell that a couple of these sets have actually uh, don't have names, but I am about to reveal all the names for each and every single one of these. Now, look up here at the top, set number 75. 75399. This set is going to retail for $80, and it is none other than the U Wing. Now, back in, I guess you could say, like five or six years ago, they made a U Wing. It was a really great uh, set, and actually retail for $63.99. So, boosting it up to $80 would be pretty typical for LEGO, uh, considering the economy now and everything. But then, taking a look down, we have set number 75407, the Star Wars 18 Plus LEGO set, which is also going to retail for $80. And then set number seven five four zero eight, Django Fett's helmet set, which is going which is going to uh, retail for eighty dollars. It's going to also be an eighteen plus set, and the UCS set is actually going to pair with that. So just wait for one second. Now next up here we have set number seven five four one six, the buildable chopper, and that is going to retail for hundred dollars, just like the buildable R two D two we saw on March first of twenty twenty four. And then finally the May the fourth UCS set, which is going to retail between two hundred and two. $250. Now, I think it's going to cost around the $250 price point because it, it, it is actually going to be, uh, we do not know the set number, but we do know that it's going to be um, Django Fett's Slave One Ship, and this set is going to include uh, Django Fett, and he's going to have arm printing as well as leg printing, and then we're also going to get a uh, young Boba Fett minifigure included in that set. So, so far, we just have two uh, leaked minifigures. We could be getting more, or these could be it, but even if, the, if these are the only two that are included, I think that that's a really good minifigure selection. Now, I would love to hear all of your thoughts on all these sets down in the comments below. Let me know which one is your favorite, which one are you most excited for, and let me know how excited are you also for the U-Wing that was leaked just a couple of hours ago. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and definitely turn on your notifications if you haven't already and i will definitely hopefully catch you all in the next video